All right, you guys, Justin's Pro Football Draft Breakdowns is back again. <laughs> yeah, you're like, damn, this dude posts up. <laughs> posts all kind of videos. Yeah, I sure hell do to get them, get this in. I'll have to. Um, let me see the next on the clock for the 2020 NFL Draft. We would have the New York Jets at selection number 11. They're going to take Jerry Judy, wide receiver, Alabama. I have him as a four-and-a-half star. Um, you might as well make him five, but four-and-a-half. Um, not too many holes in his game. Pretty good prospect right here. He's big, tall, strong, wide out. He's deceptively fast. Um, he's not a burner, but he's not slow either, you know, so he's fast. Now, he'll probably test out. I would imagine, I wouldn't say 4-4, four, four, but I wouldn't say... Uh, four five oh something like that you know what i mean he's a smooth long strider with a little little bit stiff in his hip in his hips um he has a good catch radius he can run block well he has elite route running he's got really good route running i had to go back and look at some film but he does a damn good job he puts his foot down and turns into it you know what i mean runs he's got a good route tree he has decent to average hands um, he can lose concentration sometimes and drop passes. I've seen him drop a couple, but not too many. He probably only had a couple on the year, in fact. Um, pretty much my only concern is his, his lack of concentration on his hands and drop passes and turning upfield before you catch the ball first. That would be, like, my only concern. Um, he has uh, good agility, short air quickness, and I had to go back and look at some of his tape again and again, but he, he does. Um, he runs hard after the catch. Feet are good and quick. Physical receiver. He likes to throw out the stiff arm on his runs. Um, he gets lots of yak after the catch as well. Um, good contact balance. Plays real big. Has a high football IQ. He finds the soft spots in the zone. He's a chain moving machine and a yak machine. Good red zone target. Um, he'll high point and jump balls if he has to. He's an all round receiver. Can take the top off the defense, you know. He's got great vision with his with the ball in his hands. He's explosive at times. And uh, the way I basically break down, I should have said it to the top of this video, the way I break down all receivers and tight ends would basically come down a little synopsis on that, like little bullet points on them would be speed, agility, leaping, route running. Can he run block his hands? Can he adjust to bad passes? Does he bring any special teams like returnability at all? Like punt, punt return, kick return. Um, for a tight end, can he pass block? You know what I mean? You better be able to pass block a little bit. What kind of vision does he have after the ball's in his hand? Is he a red zone target, chain mover on third down? Does he play with a good pad level and good contact balance? Does he have big playability? Is football IQ and is he smooth in and out of his breaks? Um, there's lots of other little um, intricacies that a wide receiver have to go through like at the bottom and the top of his routes, um, selling it, head fakes and whatnot like that. But we ain't going to get too far, but that's a lot of bullet points right there. <coughs> As always, thank you uh, for watching the video and uh, like and subscribe. Try to help out my, uh, my content get going here a little bit more. I'm going to keep dropping the videos until I get comfortable into where I feel we're going to be able to make all the prospects in time before the draft actually happens. Um, that's pretty much my breakdown on Jerry Judy. Um, right on, man. Thanks thanks for looking at the next this video, and I'll catch you in the next video. And the Raiders will be on the clock at uh, number 12.